If you are interested in receiving a free Bible, make sure you contact me. God bless you. Something came to my mind and let me speak on it. Some people may want to know how to get a more soft heart, as in being more loving, being more compassionate, being more empathetic toward people. Perhaps when you were younger, some bad things may have happened to you. Perhaps traumatic. And now you see a problem on how you speak to others or how you treat others as well. Listen, before in the past, as I stated in another video, I was really, really mean. I had hatred in my heart. At one point, even if I did not know you, I hated you anyway. So I was really, really troubled back then. So for some reason, to make a long story short, I decided to come back to God, as in following his rules and regulations. And some people may think that the process is like this. No. Sometimes it is a long process because all the filthiness within you it have to come out. So it is not going to take a day. Sometimes it is not going to take a year. Perhaps it is going to be longer. It is a process to purify you. So my heart was not right. This is one of many reasons why I tell you all that one of the many ways that God speaks to us is through our thoughts. And you may say, well, Kevin, how do I know if it is God speaking to me or demons? Well, what are the thoughts? Are you having thoughts of killing yourself? If you are, those thoughts are coming from demons. Are you having thoughts of fighting a person or doing something wrong? If you are, those thoughts are coming from demons. Easy, right? So if some thoughts come to you telling you, hey, go over there tell your mother, father, cousin, uncle, ex-friend, whatever, tell that person that you love them. Well, it can't be from demons, right? <laughs> Why would a demon tell you to tell someone that you love them? Unless you are doing it in the wrong context, as in you are doing it to deceive or something like that. If you have thoughts to buy someone a gift or give money to a person, that can't be the devil, right? If you have a thought to do good things for a person, it can't be the devil. 
it can't be demons. So this is how you know, man, some people may think that they need to hear God's actual voice. In some cases, many of us is not going to hear his voice like that. In some cases. But one of the many ways God speaks to us is through our thoughts. So with me, what happened? So many thoughts were coming to me of the good deeds I can do for people. And at first, I did not really know what I know now. So I was thinking, I am not going to do that good deed for that person because that person stole from me. That other person yells at me or does bad things to me or back when I was younger, that person was mean to me. So I was finding so many excuses to not do much of anything for people. So the more I started to understand of God and researched more of God, I found it doesn't matter <laughs> what my enemies have done to me. It doesn't matter. It is all about how I treat others, not how people treat me. So when thoughts were coming to my mind, many of the time, I would do it. Kevin, go give this person money. Okay. Kevin, go hug that person. Now, it took me time, but <laughs> I hugged that person. <laughs> Kevin, go do this. And I am thinking, maybe it is not going to turn out well. But when I did it, I saw that some things changed. So I started to act upon some of those thoughts that were coming to my mind. And the thing that happened, my heart became much more soft. I saw that I started to love more people. I saw that I became much more compassionate. I saw that I became much more understanding. And I saw <laughs> that I started to cry much more easier. Like, not really having control over it. So in order to have a softer heart, you have to do things to get there. In order to be more loving, and understanding even if it is not within you to do those things you have to do it anyhow anyway so now I am so much more loving toward people now I am so much more compassionate toward people sometimes I think maybe I am too loving <laughs> So this is how you can get a much softer heart. It's by doing things, kind deeds for people and mean it from the heart. Chances are God is not going to touch your heart. Hey, boom. Now you have a soft heart. Now you are more loving. Usually you have to work to get there. For instance, in order to be more patient, from my understanding, God is not going to touch you, boom, now you are more patient. No, you have to go through trials in order to get there. So you have to go through much trouble and go through it 
without going crazy. And the more trouble that you go through, hey, and if you do things right, you are going to become much more patient. Man, I pray that this is making sense. Some people want things fast and it is not always going to be that way. It is not. So get that out of your head. Well, Kevin, I prayed for something and it has not happened yet. Everything is not going to happen as quickly as you want. Let me stop here. God bless you. Never give up on God. Keep on fighting. God bless you.